Hey there, Mountaineer fans, and welcome into another edition of Talking About Preseason. We are joined by two members of the Southern Vermont College 2015 men's volleyball team. From your right to left, we have senior Scott Fitzgerald and senior Florentino Escobedo. Gentlemen, thanks for joining us today. No problem. Thank you. Scott, let's start with you. How has this preseason been different compared to those of past years that you've experienced? Uh, well, I've come from limited schools. Um, I know this year we actually have to rely more on each other. Um, we have another new coach, so it's a different atmosphere in that sense, on how she wants to coach, how she wants to do things. Um, very team bonded this year, we have to be. A um, lot of seniors, they know what they have to do uh, to get the job done. Tino, how do you think the preseason has gone so far? This is your last day before you start regular season action tomorrow. I, I think I think we we started off on a good note compared to, to you know what we had to deal with. Um, everyone's come out with the same mentality of, of we're here to win a championship, so we're all it's going smoothly. Scott, you guys were voted by coaches around the league to finish fifth this year. Of course, only the top four teams make the playoffs. What do you guys think about that ranking, if anything, and how do you think that you'll fare in the conference this season? Honestly, I don't even worry about uh, where we start off at. I'd rather you know, rather be last than uh, impress people and come to first. Um, so I think we'll do really well. Tino, who on the squad has really raised some eyebrows amongst the teammates with their performance during the preseason? I think, like like Scott said, you know, we we all know what we have to do, and we so everyone stepped up their game. Each and every one of us, but if I had to pick, I'd say um, someone who's turned heads here in preseason so far would be um, Stuart Ramirez, a rookie coming out of California. He's really turned some heads, and I think Kevin Wally has really stepped up to be that number one dominant outside hitter. Scott, you guys are coming off the best season in program history. Do you think you guys will be able to match that success or even surpass it this season? Yeah, I believe not only will we match it, but we will surpass it. Uh, I'm actually looking for a championship this year with this team. Tino, this is your senior season. Each of the last three years you've made the playoffs, but you got knocked out in the first round. How hungry are you to get back to the postseason and make it to the conference championship? Oh, oh I'm real hungry. I think, I think we're all hungry. In it. When it comes to, to winning a championship, that's the only thing that's been on our minds. We, we don't have any other goals. That's our expectation is to win a championship. Scott, where is this team right now heading into your regular season opener tomorrow? And how long do you think it will take the team to be 100% where it wants to be? Uh, right now, I think, uh, I think we're going to do well. I think everybody's head's where it needs to be. Uh, we've all got the same goals, the same mindset. Um, and that, like I said, that's basically what's going to take to get us you know, not just this weekend, but the following weekend, and uh, to finish off the conference and move into the NCAA tournament. Tino, what are you most excited to see out of this team this year? I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see to see us just go out and give it our all. Uh, all, all of us are you know, on the same page, and we've all matured together with, within the last four years with it being six, seven seniors on the team. Um, consistency is, has definitely improved, and just going out and giving it our all, balling. Balling it. You heard it here first, sports fans. Guys, is there any matchup particularly on the schedule that you're looking forward to, whether it's a conference team, non-conference team, former team you used to play for? Uh, I always look forward to going back to uh, play with Sage, you know, against them and everything like that. This year we get to go back to their uh, their home turf, so that's that's going to be fun. I'm sure I'll see some people I know. Um, but yeah, I, I actually like the conference. I, I, I'm excited to play everyone in the conference. Um, everybody's probably grown from last year, and like I said, I, honestly, I want the conference just because they had us picked as fifth, you know, and I, that's kind of a disrespectful thing. So, you know, that's where I'm excited to be with. You know, like Scott said, it's 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 really disrespectful. I, I felt when all of us felt the same way. Uh, being fifth, that mean, that means you know we're not even expected to get to the playoffs. Um, so I think we're just ready to go out and turn some heads to those top four teams that that got picked in, uh, in front of us. Very good. Well, I know all the Mountaineer fans out there are eager to see you guys hit the court and get right into the action. The Mountaineers open up the regular seasons tomorrow, Saturday, the 24th, with a try match at the College of Mount St. Vincent. You guys open up New England Collegiate Conference play on February 14th at Regis College. And then the Mountaineers' first home match is February 19th against Johnson & Wales University. We hope to see you all there. If you can't make it, you can find the link to watch live online. SVCAthletics.com is your destination for that. 
Gentlemen, thanks for joining us today, and good luck this season. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thanks.